Well, good morning. I'm Susan Meredith. I'm Brian Glassford. Yes, you are. And we have two other people with us this morning. And those of you that have been watching Fun. in the past that have seen uh, Ron Wyatt on the show. I got one. Back with our guests, Ron and Mary Nell Wyatt. Good morning, Mr. Ron. How are good you? Morning, Susan. It's good to good see morning. you. And Mary Nell. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Brian. Well, you're looking more relaxed now. Uh, She'd, uh, uh, you, you discovered this this machine, this pyramid building apparatus, and how did you do that? Well, uh, you know, the Bible says that God chooses the simple, and uh, I'm very comfortable with the fact that I'm a simple individual. What has happened down through the years, Susan and Brian, I've simply asked God to help me notice, remember, and be able to share with others in a humble, caring manner everything that will be useful to help them come to him that in the name and blood of his son that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. uh, over the years I've had quite an interest in archaeology. I've read everything that's been published and also ancient history which of course has to do with archaeology. So I ran across this uh, statement in the Greek historian's writing, his name's Herodotus, that described how these were built and then I was reading uh, an archaeological magazine that told about the sunboat that they had found by the pyramid and that they had found some, a lot of wooden things in there. Some of them would not fit on the boat. After they got the boat completely finished, they had these things left over. They didn't know what they were used for, so they put them in storage. As it turns out, those uh, were timbers from these pyramid building machines. Mm. Well, Mary Nell, you were you were showing us something in this this book that you've put together, a booklet about the machine in uh, Herodotus. Now, who Herodotus. who who was he? And he wrote um, the only, as far as we know, the only uh, explanation of how they built the pyramids. And it says um, the method employed was to build it in steps, or as some call them, <coughs> tiers or terraces. When the base was complete, the blocks for the first tier above it were lifted from ground level by contrivances made of short timbers. On this first tier, there was another, which raised the blocks a stage higher, then yet another, which raised them higher still. Each tier or story had its own set of levers, or it may be that they used the same one, which, being easy to carry, they shifted up from stage to stage as soon as its load was dropped into place. Mm -hmm. Let's just show a minute or so of what this pyramid building machine looked like so these people can get an idea of it. We have a little on film. Okay. Now what's this we're seeing here? Now, Is that a, uh... It's a winch okay. system. Uh, winding ropes around a uh, shaft mm -hmm. to shorten the rope, thus pulling the lever down and raising the platform that whatever you mm -hmm. wish to lift was on. This is one that you put together to show how it might have been, might have looked. Uh, well, the hieroglyphic shows that this is how it looked. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. holes around the base of the pyramids at the exact intervals mm -hmm. for a machine that would lift the stones that, that are on the pyramid. What, there's four guys? That's four how guys. the Egyptians were able to park their cars on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, uh, uh, now we we have a little more footage on this, but but now you're showing timber here, and in that area, um, we're we're talking about a lot of sand and stone, maybe, but not so much wood. What, That's right. What uh, where did this come from? Well, the Egyptians, uh, their inscriptions and their tombs and uh, the sort of thing, are replete with. Uh, stories of people going to Lebanon and bringing back cedars of Lebanon. Oh. And in their temples and public buildings and all that, there is no wood or no mm -hmm. evidence that wood was a part of the structure. So these had to be used for scaffolding and, of course, for this, uh, these lift devices. Uh, we're going to go ahead and come That's back because we've got so much to get into today. We should have done this in a three-hour show 